good morning. La 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 Do we need another outfit? I've been kind of wearing the same outfit for a while. I think I need a new outfit. Let me pop over here and change my clothes. Do I have a new outfit? Do I have anything new over here? I mean, I don't really want to be a culinary. I really, I, I just, I like his original outfit. It just kind of works. Uh, I mean, I could do be all buff and stuff. Uh, cook, pilot. I guess I could be a pilot for a while. Be a pilot for a while and maybe just do that. Or, oh yeah, there we go. Hey, I like that outfit for a while. Let's do, let's do, let's, let's, let's do that. Yeah, I like that for a while. Okay, so buttons, what were we doing today? We were going to continue with the cooking, I believe. Did we, are we, are we set to be able to continue with this? Uh, uh hmm. No, no, we were not because we were going to cook dishes for the restaurant today. Uh, we have, yeah, that's right. Let me go ahead and bust out our cooking power here. Whoop, there we go. Cooking power here. And hmm. let me grab a tomato to represent that particular thing because we don't have a lot of it and let me grab some seaweed oh we gained another prestige oh right because well no i was already at silver level no 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 we did well no that's right we gained no we did we already had silver level what did i gain the prestige point on i don't remember handball game Oh, maybe. Is is the pinball game worth an entire prestige point? Let's see. Where would where did we gain that extra point? Well, I mean it isn't it doesn't appear to have been with the people. Because it looks like everything here is kind of the best you can do. Huh. Well, in any case, um, you're joining the tri- Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Joining the Trials of Fire. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Good, good call, good call. You're right, you're right, you're right. So anyway... Let's go in here and let's see what we can do with a depth crab and some special dough. I don't think we're going to be able to do the both of them together. But I'm pretty certain we can make a pretty amazing depth crab dish. Because if we just start this, I mean, that's 19 right there. We throw this in and that's 69 right there as a basis. And then we go, let's see, because that is, that that's water animal. So if we do, ooh. Hmm. Yeah, if we just do the spider, uh, probably the spider flesh is the best thing to do. Is yeah, we we'll, we we do the depths crab, spider flesh, and finish it with the breaded spider leg. Or, I mean, this might actually since this is for the for the restaurant, maybe the nuclear option is the way to go here. What if we did Depths Crab? Ooh, yeah, that actually might be it. We go Depths Crab, Dragon Egg.
and then breaded spider leg. That might, yeah, that might be, oh, that that's our baby. That's our baby right there. So how do we want to do this? We want to start, we don't need to worry about aroma. So this is literally just like, put that in there and go ahead and develop that depth crab. go and then we nuke the dish with the dragon egg there you go fully develop those flavors and then we finish it off with the breaded spider leg <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Steamed crab and reptile hot wings in an arachnid soup. All right. That is our depths crab dish. Damn, that's good. <laughs> if that doesn't please everybody, then I don't know what will. All right, so the other thing was we need a special dough. So let's see, what did, uh, let's see, what did I, what did I, what did I just use up for this? Dragon egg and spider, uh, and, and breaded spider leg. So, oh, and a, and a depth crab, but I doubt I'm going to need another depth crab. Let me grab another dragon egg to make sure that that's available. Was that in there? No, although I will grab that. Uh, whoop. Birch, do you have it? Oh, stop that. Birch, behave. There we go. Dragon egg. Because if there, I mean, if there's a, a dish that needs the nuclear option, I would think it's for our restaurant. I would think so. All right. So let's think this one out. We have special dough with a multiplier for water and magic, which I think really is our, our the way to go. If we use the nuclear option, we also have water magic here, which would make for a really good... I actually kind of think I want this to be our finisher. Because if we do, if we do special dough, hmm, special dough is a mix is a mixed plant. This is a water. Uh, this is a mountain magic. Which means we probably need to start with a water magic. Because there's no way I'm going to get both of those. Hmm, but if we do the water magic... I wonder. You know what? I may have... I may have a pretty good idea for spirit. What if we started with the dragon egg as our starter for spirit? That would give us mountain magic 65. That would actually give us 150. Well, no, because we have no way to be able no. I would need to drop. I, I would need to drop in a sauce that that maximize that spirit. So I could potentially do the dark sea, dark sea food. Yeah, we would need to do the dark seafood because we don't. The other one has a times four, but it negates vigor, which we don't want. We don't want to negate anything on this dish. We want the highest possible numbers. So. 
if we started with the dragon egg giving us mountain uh, uh, a mountain magic and then we went because because spider flesh gives us mountain magic so if we were to follow that up with an ethereal ketsubushi You know what? I just realized we could have uh, we we, we might have done better for the um, for the depths crab if we had used the ethereal katsuboot. That's all right. That's all right. Not a big deal. No. Wait a minute. I think I know what we need to do. If we start rice pasta, that gives us a fifty. Plus whatever, uh, plus whatever I can develop with this. That gives us a mixed plant. We go Ethereal Ketsubushi, which multiplies everything across the board, which isn't amazing for Vigor, but isn't bad for the rest of it. But it gives us mixed plant, mixed, okay, mixed plant magic. No, that won't work. So we're back to this again. We go Dragon Egg, which gives us Mountain Magic and a hell of a start for both Vigor and Spirit. We throw in the Ethereal Ketsubushi, which gives us Mountain Ma which gives us another 60... Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's, I mean, it's good, but it's not great. And we're trying to go spirit here, right? We do King Squid. We started here and went King Squid. Uh, we've already... Oh, what am I doing? I need the dough. <laughs> I need the dough. Lo I need the dough. Okay. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, da. I keep forgetting this is not a spirit... We're I'm thinking spirit dish, spirit dish. No, this is a special dough dish. So, hey Peter, how's it going? Thank you for the for the for the subscription over on YouTube. So, what if we started with this? Can we start with this? Actually, I kind of think it would be better off with the multiplier. So, we want a water magic in there somewhere. Triclopus makes for an interesting water magic. Because that starts us off with a good bonus. Yeah, but it does... Uh... Actually, if anything, the golden jellyfish might be the better water magic. Is, is that gives well no that would actually be a fairly decent multiplier too so if we if we started with this we start with empty that gives us water magic this gives us water magic uh, uh water magic mix plant so if we do water magic mix plant Water magic mix plant. Uh, yeah, it doesn't quite work. Uh, water magic mix plant. Strawberry jellyfish would make for a good spirit multiplier. So if we go this, this, and then finish with the strawberry jellyfish, maybe?
Mm, maybe. Water magic mix plant. Water magic mix plant. Water magic. That's a nice multiplier. Actually, a better multiplier. Maybe. Water magic. Water magic mix plant. This might actually be a, a better secondary ingredient. So if we started with this and went here, then we added in, oh, then we add in Then we add in the sauce? Then we add in the sauce and finish it with the multiplier? Mm. I think we can do better. Water, mag water magic mix plant. Water magic threaded spider leg, but that's vigor. Water magic mixed plant. Bolt tuna. Eh. Water magic mixed plant. Ethereal Ketsubushi would give us multipliers. Water magic mixed plant. Water magic mixed plant. I keep wanting to come back to... Our hypno fish. Eh. Water magic mixed plant. Water magic mixed plant. Water magic mixed plant. Yeah, that doesn't work. All right. So, I mean, from what I can see, I'm kind of thinking maybe this is our, uh, this might be our best bet. Start with golden jellyfish, and we have, je we have water magic. We then move on to dragon egg, which gives us water magic synergy, and adds a water magic, a water magic mountain. And then we finish with, I mean, that would be a pretty half, I mean, yeah. it would be definitely be better than the special dough we have now. I mean, it just feels like I can do better than this. Yeah, see, it's, 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 I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff for mixed plant. Or at least no multipliers for mixed plant. Except for Ethereal Ketsubushi, which is a really phenomenal dish. And I keep coming back to this.
What if we did... That's our... Ba uh, I think this is our baby. What if we did Dragon Egg to start? That gives us... Well, no. Shit, that's not gonna work. Um... Meh. What if we did... Triclopus to start? No. No, if we did, it would have to be jo Golden Jellyfish. I think maybe Golden Jellyfish to start. Add in the Dark Seafood. Let that fully develop. Throw in the Dragon Egg. Multiply it with the Special Dough. I think that's our baby. It'll definitely be better than what we've got already. All right, so boom. Drop that in and do the golden jellyfish first. No. Shoot, now I got it backwards. Is it dragon egg first? Yeah, dragon egg was mountain magic, mountain magic, water magic. Yeah, okay, so this first. And then we have the golden jellyfish. And then we finish with the special dough. It's better than what we have now. I just don't think that, I don't know. I don't think it's as good. Oh, your egg is on fire. What? Fiery omelet and jelly tentacles in a something. Did I burn my, did I burn my dragon egg? Fiery omelet, jelly ten tel tentacles in a bread sauce. I think I might've burned my egg a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, overall, that's a dish with a, a dish score of more than 500. So let's give it a try and just see if that improves our overall rating there. Let me go. Uh, actually, do I need to drop it off right this second? Or can I go ahead? You know what? I can go ahead and replenish this. I'll drop off at the... Uh, I'll drop off at the restaurant, and then I think we're going to go ahead and fight a battle or two. So let me go in here and get some replenishment going here. Grab that. Oh, uh, not that. Uh, oh, where's my dark seafood? Is it in here? One of them is. Let me go ahead and grab that hypno fish. Grab that. I think that's okay for now. Run over. Oh, actually, over here. Um, as I need the golden jellyfish. I used up my last dragon egg. Used up my last dragon egg. Um, well, that's okay. I mean, none of my... None of my amazing dishes use that anyway, but... Hmm. That's... Kind of a bummer. All right. Um, got the legendary crab. Got the triclopus. Uh, got the spider flesh. 
Uh, I got legendary spider flesh, breaded spider leg, cyclopus, breaded spider leg. Breaded. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another triclopus. Hey, excuse me. Oh, uh, where's my other? There they are. Let me grab another triclopus. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Come here, buddy. And we'll go drop off those two dishes at our restaurant. We will hold on to the other two to, like, feed to Birch or something. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe maybe one of these guys will be hungry or something. I don't know. But I think after that, we're going to go and go take on a silver level. All right. So there's the Depths Crab. Go ahead and replace that out. Yeah, as far as I know, nobody wanted pink dough or strawberry jellyfish. It was that one we, uh, we were replacing, right? Yeah, and we were replacing this one. So, special dough. And... Depths Crab. Alright. So we have our Thanander, which we did need to have. I mean... Did we need Thanander? Wait a minute, what was it? Shoot. I hate my brain. Okay. Uh, Biclopus, Cucumber Squid, Serimi, Unicorn Bacon, Breaded Spider Leg, Hypnofish, Depths Crab, Spirit Dough, and that's it. Okay. So not Pink Dough, not Thanander. So is this just, is this just my spirit dish? I can probably do better than this for spirit. And then Depths Crab, if that doesn't do it for Depths Crab and breaded spider leg, then I, I freaking quit. Uh, cucumber squid, serimi, and unicorn bacon. I believe everybody's happy for those. Uh, there's a special dough. I hope they're happy with that. Breaded spider leg, hypno fish. Yep, yeah, okay. Unicorn bacon, legendary crab, serimi. Yeah, hopefully that, that takes care of all that. All right. Battle! Let's go... Lay the smack down on some kitties. All right, so the third silver was over here. You on your pretty little throne there. Well, pretty little throne, Kat Katishi, Katishi, Katishi. Uh, I'm about to knock you off that throne. Chef Zest, I suppose I should feel honored. But you may not know what you're stepping into. One round, I can take you. Let's see the rules. Are you willing to challenge the fury of the desert winds? Bring it on, as long as you don't try to pour sand into my pan. Ah, uh, well, there goes my plan B, then. <laughs> Zest versus Katishi. Really? Nothing unusual. So straight battle. All right. Straight battle. A one shot. Okay. No problem. We will we will do the we will do the vigor the the super vigor uh, triclopus breaded uh, breaded spider breaded spider with the spirit potato. So let's start with that into triclopus. Let's go ahead and let those flavors develop just in case he uh, he decides to slam me with some sort of. Uh, 
uh, some sort of like nasty anti I don't know bad thing some sort of like anti vigor that would be bad uh, so uh, let's see there's that and then we do the breaded spider We've got all the aroma in the world, so we should be able to go first. He shouldn't be able to nuke us. Breaded spider. Beat that, kitty. Unless this kitty is like, holy shnikes. I feel good. And 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 I knew that I would not. Dun, 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 dun. And he's an orc. Of course he's gonna like his, you know, his vigor. 1956. What you got? <laughs> I see octopus of some sort. Meh. 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 I didn't even need to try against you. You're sitting on a throne. Get out of here. Well done. You've got the spirit of an Acnathan, uh, Acnathan stalker. You could earn the respect of the Katek, Zest. You've certainly gained this one. All right. Bam, bam. Bam. And where was, uh, let's see, the other one was the Triclopus, and I've got an extra Triclopus. All right. So, uh, we need to talk to you. Well, here you are, to no one's surprise. Gold tier, no less. Ready to face the champion of the Nyarian League. Don't get too cocky because you defeated their spiritual leader, though. There's a lot of millennial old talent around here. Yes, and you've been screeching at every single one of their masters. This again? I thought you understood. I did, up to a point. However, I think you take your obligations too far. I mean, you yell and curse and compare dishes to horrible things, even dishes from the silver tier. You really know all that much about millennia old Nyarian traditions to justify that level of despisal and harsh, uh, despisal and harshness? I mean, you don't actually have Custodian Anzashi's authority. Well, uh, it's my persona. This is still Concordia, and the show must go on. Everyone knows there's some hyperbole in theatrics. Some people do, others do not. I mean, some chefs didn't give it a second thought, but others were a bit shocked and devastated after your assaults. I... Well, I'm sorry they didn't get it, but I wasn't criticizing them. I was criticizing their job. They need to compartmentalize. Sometimes there's no compartment. I've met enough chefs in this city to know that they pour their soul into cooking. You can't compartmentalize your soul. I heard some wizard tried once and now he can't wear glasses. Potter fans, he's talking about Voldemort, the noseless wonder. He can't wear glasses. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. <laughs> you know, now that you think about it, 
if you were to nail Voldemort with a curse of nearsightedness, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> What about people who don't actually care about cooking then? What about crooks and scammers who sell junk and pretend it's gold? Should they get away with it because others can't take some criticism? I don't know. I just know that if I had a sledgehammer, I'd make sure to only swing it when something actually deserves to be broken beyond repair. Oh. The current champion awaits at the end of the street with the food stands. He has the most important takeaway restaurant in the city and supplies a lot of people. So make sure you're ready before challenging him. The guy is an institution in Ambrosia. I see. I am sorry this got too dense, but let's go already. So uh, looks like Isferatu, the critic, is starting to learn a little bit of a lesson here. Anyone can 